Well, it's been almost two weeks since a huge storm ripped through Michiana. However, some places are still suffering from the damage. News Center 16's Sean Gallagher met with one local group which was displaced because of the devastation. He's in the studio tonight to tell us how they're bouncing back. Sean? The damage at South Bend's Heroes Camp was pretty amazing, as you can see here behind me. Winds were swirling around in the gym, moving this set of bleachers clear across the facility. But thanks to a local school, the kids at Heroes Camp will continue to have a place to teach these young men about adulthood. For the children at Heroes Camp, they depend on the stability the camp offers them, giving young men who may not have a father figure in their life role models they can look up to. So when storms ripped through their facility, their world quite literally came crashing down. Yeah, well, well, when it first happened, there was a lot of kids that came to the camp. They didn't know what was going on. They would walk through the doors, you know, just uh, just crying. Like, what's going to happen next? You know, because they, they really think of this place as home. They were, like, devastated. A couple of the little kids were walking by, man, like, four or five, six years old, saying, Heroes Camp's broke. What are we going to do? But this isn't just any gym for these kids to come and play basketball. It's a sanctuary to lead them in the right direction in the future. These kids are at a volatile spot. Uh, they call Heroes Camp home. They're looking for a place to uh, feel accepted, feel loved. And so it was critical that we got up and running as soon as we could. And we were calling around, calling around. It's so hard to find something like we have 10 basketball courts in our facility. To find something similar to that is near impossible. But not entirely impossible. The principal at a new charter school in South Bend heard about what happened to the Heroes Camp and stepped up. I called him and I said, PJ, do you need a place? He's like, you're kidding. Uh, what's it going to cost? And I'm like, um, nothing <laughs> because community helps community. I mean, we didn't call them. They called us. And the principal, Chad Addy, you know what I mean? He called us and said, hey, I got a gym where you guys, if you want to, feel free to come and use it. And while this facility may be a little smaller and the travel is a bit of an issue, the core goal is still being achieved with these kids back in a safe place. I live like in a dangerous like area and all that. Then it's like it's, when I come here, it's just different. It's more peaceful an environment. You can just feel it when you walk, walk into any place. The Career Academy isn't the only help Heroes Camp is receiving. They've received food donations from Jimmy John's, Chick-fil-A, Hacienda, and Hungry Howie's. And PJ tells me they're hoping to have their own facility up and running again by the end of August. Gabby?